seeing Atlanta here. Spencer Strider. Um, let's get the, the roster up. Oh, Baron Corbin's back on SmackDown. Like we're wearing gray today against the Braves. What are the Braves are wearing? They're alts, they're red. Good enough for me. We go to uh, Truist Park. Juan. Freeman up there. Day Ram playing third. Batting third. Naylor DHing, batting fourth. David Fry fifth. And Mariano sixth. Gabriel Arias. Playing second. Giving Jimenez a day, a day off, Hedges, and then Rikio. And, well... Let's get down there. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of it's the... It's a Strider, five games played. Austin Riley. Rolling it's exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently... 30 and two-thirds. ERA 382, 37 strikeouts. Play defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. We see Stephen Kwan starting. Your two-time gold glove winner. He, uh, in real life, started by going off. Uh, uh, started by going yard. Strider forcing where they can touch 100. Slider, circle change, curveball that bottoms out at 76. And a two-seamer that can touch 99. Season, but last year he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took slider high. Braves are 15 and 10. They're <laughs> early in the season, the third wild card spot. The 1 0 from Strider is a circle change in the zone and flared out to center field and caught. They're dealing with a top level arm of the mound, so this figures lead the American League in runs. What's the key to the Freeman, today, Benton 389. I haven't seen him a lot. Nail, we've seen a lot. We're slowly starting to see Freeman more. Nail, Benton 422, who we have seen a lot, almost daily. He's good. He's been good. Tyler Freeman 389. Contact against righties is 75. Not great power, but. Here's a sling and a drive left. Okay. Yeah. Well, first pitch of the AB. Gone. Tyler Freeman. Second home run of the season at 391. <laughs> Not great power, he says. As we take Strider Yard, and here comes the scary one. In come J Ram. 391 leaves at 93 into the bullpen. Strider just all he could do was well shit. One down. Now J Ram. As that two seamer leaves. Pop out to right field and Acuna he gets it. 
There's Patreon, well. J Ram's out. Oh, yeah, Naylor. Oh, he's got 87 contact against a righty. And fastball at 99 catches the zone. The old one to Naylor. Curve ball rolled over to first. And that's an out. But Tyler Freeman's a home run. Solo shot. It's an early one nothing lead. Back after this. Gives us a one nothing lead. And uh well. Yeah. Now Logan Allen, we see some guys who could be good. Logan Allen's ERA 351. 37 strikeouts. In 25 and two thirds. He doesn't go deep very often. They have a hard time staying back. In his five starts. Looking at about five in uh, just over five innings, uh, Michael Harris. The second on a 12 game hit streak. Misses. One out. For the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. 2 0 to Harris. Out off to third base. Makes it 2 1. Logan Allen. Has a fastball that can touch about 94, 93, 94. Sweeping curve, circle change, cutter, and a slider. 2 2 to Harris. Rounded. Great play by Elias and the throw over to David Fry is in time and Harris. Some good speed is out. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that Kuya, Olson, Olson. Albies Azuna. I think as they gel together, gains. This is gonna be the best team we've seen other than the Yankees. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Three home runs and two seventy five. The pitch. Oh, that's off the inside end. And the ump squeezes us. Called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. In for a strike. That one's in. One one. The Guardians up by a run. Here in We're up a run. Three game Here in the first game of this three game series, and popped over to J Ram. This dude's not as fast, and this throw is in time. Two away. And Ronald Acuna Jr. 25 RBI. Uh, he's second in the, Amer the National League. I'm sorry. Oof, and that fastball's in the dirt. Hank Aaron Award winner for Acuna. On the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit. And he goes through. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitchers. One to one. You're a guy that it's hard to take out of the light up, and I think it's. Oh, they got him. And the sweeping curve gets away from us, and Akuna is on base. Now we have Matt Olson. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Foul. First offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Akuna runs. Akuna is there. Looks like they're trying to answer back on that run they gave up in the top of the first by being aggressive on the base paths. I like that, especially early in this ball game. Be aggressive. And the four seamers fouled off. And the sweeping curve fouled off. Olsen swings and misses, and he gets sat down. One left on on the hit by pitch. And he does get a steal, too. He take a 1 0 lead into the second. Top of the second. Now, Even Fry coming in, he's got five home runs, betting 285. Known for his velocity, he can bring it, but 
that wasn't always the case coming back from an injury in college Strider was throwing 94 to 96 miles per hour boog when the Braves drafted him Ball. now he lights up slider um, now, now Strider getting uh, a little squeezed righty delivers I don't know. Not even close on the slider. Woody Keller! We see Woody Keller for the first time all year. I'm not excited as we lift that fastball to left center. Harris underneath it. I was talking about it. We hadn't seen Woody at all this year, and we see him. And one away here in the top of the second. Now Ramon Moriano, who... Hitting 239, 7 home runs, 16 RBI. Got some speed. Actually, Loriano is only 65 speed. And we... Flores that has speed. Now we have Gabriel Arias. And we are not getting Strider's pitch count up. And while we're still not, Harris does get to it. That ends the inning. And we have Ozzy Albies here at Truist Park. Out of the second, Ozzy Albies, Silver Slugger in 2019 and 2021. He's, he's good. Getting him out is going to be a challenge. And that misses. Pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. And a foul ball. Fouled into the netting. And that makes it 1-1. One, one. Popped up. Keo. Rokio gets under it. Underneath it. And there's one down. And a few steps out into shallow left. And one down. Now we have Austin Riley at 333 Silver, Silver Slugger last year and in 2021. He's the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon. And this is hit in the air. Loriano makes the basket catch two down. He shows on and off the field. Now Marcel Zuna, Silver Slugger in 2017 and 2020. Oh, no. Foul. Makes it 1-1. One, one. Two down, nobody on. That's fouled off. That was a mistake pitch. 1-2. Get him. Solid inning of work from Logan Allen as we stay below 30 pitches. And it remains one nothing. It is one one or one nothing. I'm sorry. As we go to the third, uh, I can get six innings out of Logan Allen. We find Austin Hedges 226 as we saw earlier. Not good against uh, some guys. Out there on the mound that misses. Hedges really on um, 30 contact, 42 power against righties. And the slider slides away from us. That's fouled. Makes it 1 1. Triple change, fouled off into the dugout. Makes it 1 2. Two strikes. Or fouling off the slider too. Again, makes it one two. And chopped over to first. And the out. One away. Now we have Rakio batting two forty four. Four home runs. Hard foul on the slider in, up and in. For everything you do, you know, it's 
something Strider now preaches himself. 65 contact and 60 power against righties. And we're just late, or just, just early, just late. Is that good timing on the fastball? 0-2 to Rikio. Lifted. Right center. Harris after it, and that's caught. Two way. Long flew out. We're going to at least get to, to 20 pitches to Strider finally. The ball misses. Strider, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2020. And that's in for a strike. Cold night like tonight. Good pitch. Thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed. One one. Off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to try to catch things out front. Circle change. Not what I was expecting. One two. Hit hard to right field, going, going at the wall. Acuna is just going to watch it fly over his head. Fifth home run for Stephen Kwan. And we have a 2-0 lead. Kwan in video game land doing what he did in real life. Up to happen in the third inning instead of the first. Monaco ass. And that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate. You missed uh, what I said earlier about Tyler Freeman. Um, when I said Tyler Freeman had didn't have power because he only has 32 power, and Tyler Freeman went yard. I <laughs> was not not ready for the slider from Strider. Come runs from Freeman and now Quan and Slider again. No ball, two strikes. Oh two. Ball. Ball. Oh, I also have Woody Keller, Jordan. I don't know if you would heard that. I see. I have Woody today. That one misses. Ball two. And we get up to. We're gonna get to at least twenty-eight pitches from Strider. Such a better feeling for the hitter. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball. That's how I feel about that. We go to the bottom of the third. We see Adam Duvall. The designated hitter. Adam Duvall. I have Woody Keller behind home plate on the ground right side tonight. Duvall, 2021 Gold Glove winner. Rounded to Rikio. And that's the first out. Woody is back there. John Murphy batting 343. Catcher and... Whoa, Woody called a strike on the inside part of the zone. We're up 2-0. That's not even close. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Oh, he doesn't get the call. It's two and one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher two doesn't one. worry as much about the slide step. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there on its way and out of here. Mistake pitch. Gigantic blast. Sean Murphy takes it deep. Leaves at 106. It was, what, 440, 445, and it's a 2-1 game. Oh, that's one way to break up the no-hitter. Circle change right over the zone, and now we see Michael Harris. That ball will no. No, it will not. The old one. Go two. One two. And that's in the dirt. That's in the dirt. Rounded to Ramirez. The throw. Yes, in time. 
No. Orlando Garcia. Oh, for one, the ground out. Thanks, Woody. Oh, one. Makes it 0 2 as that's fouled off. Two outs. Got him swinging. Get some swinging. But Sean Murphy just hit a ball really hard. And it's now a 2 1 ball game. You're watching Cleveland Guardians. His fourth home run of the season. That ball's never coming back. Yep. Back at Truist Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jose Ramirez. And J Ram leading off the fourth here against Spencer Strider. Um, if we get the right pitch, this ball could go. There's a swing and it's. <laughs> and it's gone. Into the sign that says burgers. It's 3 1. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. Jeremy his 16th home run. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Steven Vogt's happy. I'm happy. Three home runs for the team. The Strider just gave us a meatball. It's like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct. Fastball just. Absolutely. It was, I mean, it, inside technically, but into the chop house up there. Yeah, 16. For one so far. He swings and fouls one off. 16. And he's not even leading right now, I don't think. Anymore. More challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. This is a line drive. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. And Acuna able to make the grab. Acuna makes the grab. I don't think he's even leading in baseball anymore. At one point, David Fry. he was not. Now David Fry. And down the right field line. Down the right field line, and Acuna grabs that. Two outs, base is empty. Ramon Laureano Ramon. digs in for the Guardians. Laureano. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first Laureano game. grounded out. out if this drops in the gap, it will. Laureano will be able to get two. One hops off the wall, hops off the wall and stand up double for Ramon Laureano. Our first hit that wasn't a home run. Up until that point, every hit in this game had been a home run. Gabriel Arias. Now Gabriel Arias. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. Rounding third, Ramon will score. Ramon Mariano will score. From second. And we go up 4 1. If we're not going to get um, pitch, pitch count on Spencer Strider. We're at least going to try and force him out because of runs scored. Now we have Austin Hedges who can't hit righties. Dead strike one to the catcher. And flip foul. Two pitches high in the zone from Strider. This has got to be low, right? Oh, and inside. Middle inside, I should say. One, two. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Fights it off. Fight that off, foul. Arius, off of first with two away. We can fight off like two more pitches. Just missed. Really good take. Just missed. So we will get Strider to 40. Edges strikes out. As we score two, the home run, no the home run from J Ram, and the RBI single from Marias bringing 
Ramon Laureano home, and now we have Ronald Acuna Jr. That misses. Cunha, who got hit by a pitch earlier. For that shutdown inning, get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Hold down the line, this one hammer, but it's foul. Oh boy, oh, that was uh, almost scary. That is impressive, a power speed One, 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 two now. One, two. Opt out Freeman. And get underneath it as he, what the hell, why'd you turn around? Uh, Freeman and Cooney gets sat down for the first time. Now we have Matt Olson. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo. Light tower power. That's right. That's it. Like one. Have I mentioned how scary this Braves team is? Comes up empty. That's strike two. Okay. You've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere. Then you got a chance. And we freeze Olsen. Because that is the fourth strikeout for Logan Allen. Um, I don't think we're going to get a lot of ABs. However, uh, going through the order the second time already. All one. No, a check swing. All two Dazi Albies. The pitch. No. 3 0, -oh, come on. The it's Woody Keller. And what will probably be a four pitch walk to Ozzy Albies. No! Shift on, right Shift on and right to J Ram. Out number three. As we go to the fifth. And we're going to start. And Brian Rakio, Rakio, Ron Freeman. I wasn't call, expecting the curve. All one. Makes it one one. Oh no, we've only struck out twice. Makes it two one. Let's see. Let's just try and see pitches from Strider. Chase that time. First pitch three one. But then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing forty fifth pitch from Strider. In the driver's seat with three one count is gonna be. It should be a base hit for Rikio. Is it is? And your second baseman there could not keep it in. His glove bounced off of him. Now Stephen Kwan. Had a home run. Foul off the slider at the top of the zone. Flew out in the first to center field and then a home run. And we whip that. Foul. Oh no. Oh two. Lifted to right caught by. Acuna and Akio's gonna have to scamper back. I have Tyler Freeman who we flash back to the first as a home run. Maybe we're not gonna flash back to the first. It looked like we were going to. Foul off the circle change. And we will get 50 for Spencer Strider. I'm gonna have to look at this after this AB. Foul. Man at first, one away. Fifty first pitch for Spencer Strider. Swings and misses struck him out. For that kind of velocity and elevated. I don't know why I thought that ball was going to come down. We don't hit into a double play at least. We get J Ram on who had a home run over in the fourth. And it's going to be a base hit. Lead runner stays at second, and we keep things going. Josh Naylor now. Rounded out to first, and a line out to right field. Base hit for 
Naylor is the throw. It's going to hold the lead runner, hold Rikio at third. And oh, we lose Strider. We don't chase Strider as they bring in Aaron Bummer. 10 innings pitched, uh, has an ERA of 7 2, so he might be a bum. Four games. Average against lefties is 364, average against righties is 233, and well, we have a righty in. <laughs> See this. Wait. $490? $490, what the ass? Now for Cleveland, David Fry. Bummer, sinker, slurve, cutter, four seamer, circle change. As this could be the guy that gets out of this inning. Just All nice. one. He's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could. Foul off the sinker. Yeah, that's just insane. David Fry, 400 is runners in scoring position, 1 1. Where are we going to see that slurve? Right there, and we foul it off. 1 2 to Fry. Just something through the infield. We can't hold up, though. Never mind. That circle change just. Yeah. Let's see here. Yes, he was. At one point, I believe. Well, we get bits we don't add into the uh, lead. Yeah, but we do at least chase Spencer Strider, and this will be probably the back end for um, Logan Allen. This will probably be the end of him after this inning. And, well, that's not even close. The swing. This uh, inning will probably be it. We'll chopped. Throw is not going to be in time. Took fly off the bag too, but Austin Riley had that beat out. Base hit, and now we have Marcelo Zuna. Oh God, am I going to have to bring Eli Morgan in? I think so. Everyone else is getting pretty tired already. This is. Foul. One and one to Azuna. Oh, thank you for fouling that off. That makes it one two. Out off again. Fouled off again. The pitch. Foul Jesus. Strikes. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this. Now this ball is well. On back. It's got a chance. And at the wall, Loriano throw. I don't know why I threw the first. Because that's going to end up getting Austin Hedges. Oh, man, that was scary from Azuna. <laughs> Can see that one coming. Oh, yeah, have Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 1. Strike 1. 18 RBIs for Duvall. That's fouled off. To two. This is one two. Now one and two. Tough to take a two strike change up that just missed. I think it throws it. Foul off again. Yeah, this is definitely no matter what happens. Just three two or two two. Out off. Kicks and deals. 
Foul off. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the event. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Missed our spot, but strikeout five for Logan Allen. I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable. Now we have Sean Murphy. One for one with the home run earlier. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Picked up an RBI, yeah. I think that's called a home run. That pitch misses. Strike one. Strike one, one, one. That's in the zone. One, two. So far, sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like oh, this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And delivers oh, outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will two. Motion, so something in the gap. Uh -huh. And we get what we get, Murphy. And the inning is over. One left for Atlanta, and they trail it 4 1. They leave one on. Well, <laughs> they stay up 4-1 and bring in Ramon Mariano, who scored a run. And We're going to sit Scott Barlow down for now. Mariano, who double on a run earlier. Down the line, foul serve. Just missed the zone. Mariano has seven home runs. Somehow. And he's driven in double digit runs over his last ten games. So we're in a very similar spot. Same result. Okay, not quite the same spot. The pitch. Right through there, got him. Now one gone and clearly looking at Jesus. And now we have Gabriel Arias. One for two with a single and an RBI. That was a came in the fourth. Lifted foul though. That was the cutter. Oh one. Sinker, bottom of the zone, poked foul. Good grab by the ball boy as it's rolling to him. O2 from Bummer. Thankfully we have a few, a few runs to play with as this is lined right to short. Now we have Austin Hedges, strikeout, and a round out to first, and cut her right over the heart of the plate, fouled off. O'Neill is our better catcher, as this is fought off foul. Austin Hedges is just not very good, I mean he's just, he's just not great. We gotta go with him sometimes. We foul off the sinker. We're looking at talking about a guy whose contact against lefties is 23, his right is is 20. Foul off that sinker. We're at least forcing some pitches. This will be the fifth pitch. It's been all 2 And a base hit for Hedges. Keeps the inning going. With to Brian Rocchio, who had a single earlier. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brian Rocchio. Five pitches there. Right. Cutter just tied us up. Swing and miss. Right. Of first with two away. 56 contact against lefties for Rocchio. 45 power. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Linkers popped up. Foul ground. Murphy He's got it. grabs it and that ends. The Ends our half of the sixth. Top of the, order. Top of the order coming up for now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Eli Morgan. The Braves. A lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs. We need to get nine outs. We're gonna four pitch pitcher. So we want the guy who's just the highest overall that had the most energy. Forcing or circle change slider curveball for Morgan. Yeah, the epic speed's in the store again. Excuse me, is that a green Atlanta Braves hat there in the background? Oops. 
Let's not throw that curveball ever again. Will you see Michael Harris was over two, two ground outs? Is that something that's real? That green Braves hat. And he, Rudy Keller. It's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. You gotta swing at things with Rudy Keller at the plate sometimes. You gotta swing sometimes when Woody Keller's there. Oh, good play by Fry. He's gonna race to the bag. He wins the race somehow. Great play by David Fry. Oh, man. Nobody. He had no help. Morgan was nowhere near. And now we have Arcia. Top of the zone for a called strike. Strike one. Sometimes you gotta just get the bat off your shoulders when um Rudy's there and well there you go. Arcia. Two thirty five against righties. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Three. And that misses well. One two. Out off. That's what we can't have right there is a bunch of foul offs. If we're going to get strikeouts, we need to be quick. <laughs> One, two. He's the 10th pitch for, or 9th pitch from Morgan. Tenth pitch. Elevated fastball. Marcia swings underneath it. Brings in Ronald Acuna Jr. who hit by pitch and a steal. Two away. Strike one. Like I've said. With Woody out there. And a curve is down and in. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, that bounces. Makes it two one. Two two. Two outs. Popped up Fry. Underneath it, and has it. Ends the sixth. Down in order, go the Good work by Eli Morgan, Quan Freeman, Ramirez. Up four, we're up four one. Aren't really putting the Braves away, even though they only have two hits. You see Dylan Lee now with an ERA of four, a four flat. One and one record. He's appeared in nine games. Doesn't give us stri strikeout rate of 16 percent. With a home run earlier, one of the three. All of our first three hitters, our one, two, and three hole hitters, all have home runs. And foul. Um, slider, four seamer, circle change, by the way, for Dylan Lee. Slider, we foul off. That's two in the zone. The 0-2. The 0-2. No. And the slider no. just misses. The 1-2. One, 1-2. Two. One, two. Perfect one contact. One. This is going to the gap. He dives, but can't. Juan might be able to win the race. He does. Harris cannot hold on. That's a leadoff double. Was, I think. Perfect, con perfect contact. I'm so glad we we were so close to getting robbed of a hit. As how close? How close? Reflecting off Harris out there. <laughs> he 
did we seriously get a we didn't get a we got a glove hole. <sighs> SDS gave us a gift. That is in the glove. That might be the, uh, that might be the thumbnail. So up next. Now Tyler Freeman, who had a home run earlier in the first to give us the lead. Haven't looked back. Time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Slider misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Joe Jimenez. Activity in the pen for the Braves. This is hit. The center field. Harris is going to be able to hold the runner. Another multi hit and really second hit for Freeman. Now we have J Ram with a home run earlier. Drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Two for three. I'm running a single. Ramirez, Oof. The now as he swings and okay, we can't, we just can't give an easy out here. What you think you see Go to <sighs> good slider. Let's from Lee stretch runners at first and third. Ripped foul. Still Owen two. Well, we could regret swinging at that. Sl that first slider that tied us up and made us look dumb. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Now we have Josh Naylor who I need something out of Naylor here. He's one for three with a single. Grounder might be two. Fired to second. Well, we don't. They get the double play, even though the second baseman double clutched. Oh, yeah, Matt Olson. Here, the bottom of the seventh. It's in the air, center. Freeman ranges underneath it. Caught. Get that quickly. Now, Ozzy Albies. Strike one. No one strike. Oh, I always was expecting a fastball, and he swung way early at that. We mi missed our spot, and that four seamer fouled off. Yeah, we're gonna have to get someone in the eighth. Oh, there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you wanted to play. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Scott Barlow will save Sam Hentes for a minute. The Guardians leading by three. Here the Up three, one, two. Fouled off. God damn it. that one away and we'll do it again <sighs> right-handed reliever one two again Spoils 
a two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the right hander. One two hands. again. Foul ball still a one and two count. Grinding a B right here. About to see pitch number ten. Pitch ten. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And that is gone. Yep. That ball straight away center, 417, six of the season for Albies. He just knew it was coming. He's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made it. Now we have Austin Riley. Austin Riley. That one missed. Just couldn't put Albies away, and now a 4-2 game. Inside almost 2-0. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit. Base hit. Riley. Instead of pitch, they're not trusting their stuff. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to try to do the opposite oh, way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Oh, oh, two to Ozuna. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Fouled off, though. The tying run at the plate. He goes down. Look Sit down, Ozuna. Okay, that's big. We oh, have Duval. Adam Duval, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Out off a one. Tying run at the plate. Oh. This is makes it one one. Just missed. All two. Duval, one strike. That one two two. Strike two and two. With the tying run at the plate, you're in game one of this three-game set. Catch up to the heater. Braves get one. We blew him away. Albies gets one back for the Braves, though, and well, we go to the eighth. We see Joe Jimenez. He's got in the area 3-0. We have David Fry. We're going to have to put in Scott Barlow here. Actually, we're going to be bringing Sam Hentez in. If I could be huge here, we can get some base hits here. That'd be great. Menez, four seamer slider circle change. Slider misses. Menez, a former All Star, he features a four seam fastball, a slider. And he works in a changeup. Flared out, base, base hit. hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Leadoff man on. Now bringing in Ramon Mariano. He was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now Ramon Mariano. A one. Mariano struck out looking earlier. He had a double. Swing and a miss. Sweet. One one. That slider's fouled off. One two. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. One and two here. Loriano belts it. Gives us a 6 2 lead. That, <laughs> is that going to be enough to put this Braves team away? We're, this team is the New York Yankees right now. <laughs> Joe Jimenez. Joe Jimenez makes sense. And up next for Cleveland, Gabriel Arias. Now Arias, one for three with a single. 
Now this is in the air. This is in the air. Down the line. Now Get down, please. Tries to make the foul. Play, but it's foul. None away. Let's get Arias on base. Ripped on a line. Ripped on line right to Acuna. I shouldn't say right to him, but moving off. Now we have Austin Hedges. Run away. How's the obvious underneath it? And that's an owl. Why did I swing at that? Now we have a kill. The next to hit. This is lifted to do. Right center. Foot drops and it does drop in front of Harris. First pitch swing and Stephen Kwan. Hit a home run in the third to give us a 2 0 lead. We, we have, I mean, we've been able to hold on to all day. But we've had to kind of grind. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? He cannot do it again. This is going to be right at Acuna and ends the inning. The inning. With a pair on Mo Mariano, though, big hit. Dude who has not been delivering in real life, barely been delivering in video game land at times. And delivers there. Yeah, the batter down. As it's the steroids. Oh, no, not. We're going to bring Sam Hentes in. Hentes. Three appearances. We're up four. Who holds? 1 0 record. 333 against both lefties and righties. Strikeout rate is 7%. Inches. Four pitch pitcher. Fastball, 12 6 curve, slider, sinker. I'm not seeing a lot of Hentges this year. Murphy was a home run earlier. 38,000, uh, some 118, 618, 1 0. On the zone. Makes it 1 1. In the air, Tyler Freeman on the move gets it. One away. Now Michael Harris, the second. He's hitless. He is. We've 12. He's on a 12-game hit streak. 0 for three makes it 0 for four. Ramirez throws accurate. Side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that now ball away and four pitches, and then we have Lando Arcia. Go for three with a strikeout. Next up for the Braves. Mm, not even close. Oh no. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And Arcia has to dive out of the way there. 0 2. There's no doubt that the success rate is up. That's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact. Rio, oh boy, and now we have Ronald Acuna Jr. on deck. The wind of the pitch. Rio. There's oh. three one. <laughs> he's gonna see two fastballs here if we can just try and get it full and we do. And he's gotta swing at something, three two. Up in the zone, and Rakio hits the throw and sits down the side. One, two, three. And we're going to see Acuna, Albis, and 
Austin Riley, I believe, in the ninth, up four. Now Tyler Matzik. He's got in the area three, three, eight. 091 average against righties, 375 against lefties. He's appeared in five games this year. Five and a third, and here we see Tyler Freeman. Home run single earlier. Home run earlier in the first single in the seventh. Two strikeouts in between. And that's ball one. Matt Sick, in his sixth season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally uses a curve. There's the curve. Foul. Four seamer slider curve for Matt Sick. I don't know if I've said that. Perfect contact. That's going to be a base hit. Right in front of Harris, it gives us J-Ram up. We could finally, finally put Foul. <laughs> Bet the Guardians are ready for an ice cold cola cola after this game and a burger from Burger. I'm sure am. This team needs a break because we're we just foul off the fastball. That's hard, hit on the line. hard hit on a line though. Oh. J Ram tried to end it. He wanted to call game on home run pitch, but they sliced it foul and the next pitch is a liner right to Harris. Now Josh Naylor, one for five, or one for four. Benton four fourteen has eight home runs on the season. This could be the one that ends it. If we get anything. Gonna foul the play. Oh, one. I just want to. I want to get a run across to the. Hopefully. Swing and a drive. If it stays fair. Back it did stay fair. As Naylor comes up huge. It's 8-2. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. We might... <laughs> I think we've put the Braves away. Oh, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front of a breaking ball like that. As that ball just stays fair. Foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough. to sneak it inside that foul pole. You go up 8-2, and we're not going to have to see Classe David Fry does that. Slings it across, <laughs> and there's two away. Oh, my God. The right field, Ramon. Ramon Laureano digs in for the Guardians. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's... that's uh, that exists. Ramon Mariano had the two run homer in the eighth. And he's going to get a base hit over the right field. So he gets on base and keeps it going. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's uh, now we have Gabriel Arias. That's it. Not really able to hold to keep it close. Swing and a drive to. Left center, but two come across to score. Two come across on the Josh Naylor home run. And this is now an 8 2 ball game. This is Guardians Baseball on the show, Ohio. And we're back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And here is Ronald Cunha Jr. Ronald Cunha Jr. We're going to keep Hendricks out there. No reason to bring on Class A. That one fouled off. Yet. Foul that off by Acuna. Makes it only one. Misses. On one. Yeah, I'd say it was probably the Braves. Right through there for a strike. Ooh, sinker elevated. Acuna could have sent that to Narnia. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to. He fouls that off into 
edge his thigh. When you get him out. One, and two, One two. On Acuna. Yes. Him out. Fastball past him. Now we have Matt Olson. What he calls that a ball. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. And that's in the dirt. Two. So I think. Like one. Like one. one. I think Woody Keller is going to be in the thumbnail. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Freeman going back on this one. And it hits the fence. That hits the fence. Two run double. Or no, not two run double. It's a double from Matt Olson. Just missed out on a home run right there. Now we have Ozzy Albies. This is where things could get scary. Okay, Albies swings and misses the first pitch that's in the dirt, basically. Makes it a one. Thank you, Woody. Woody Keller's been kind of helping us. Can't get Albies to chase. One, two. Darius. One down. Uh, two down, I should say. Albies. Thrown out. Now Austin Riley two for three with a couple singles. Strike one. Strike two on a mistake. And fouled off 0 2. Down to the final strike. That was a grind until the end. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 8 2 the final here for Chris Singleton. Logan Allen gets to them that time for Chell. MLB the show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line for our ball game tonight. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians, a run. Thumbnail. Ramon Mariano, three for five with a home run and a double. Is your player of the game. Logan Allen gets the win, goes five, five innings, two hits, one earned, six strikeouts. Spencer Strider gets the loss, four, four and two third, gives up eight hits, strikes out three, that's four earned. Albies and Sean Murphy go yard just to make this game interesting, essentially. And we win this one. We'll be back tomorrow. I have no idea who's pitching. I think we're going to have, oh, God, Tanner Bybee, probably. And yeah, we have Tanner Bybee. They have Max Freed. Another one where Bybee can't, Bybee doesn't go very deep. Another bullpen day. Our, this, having only three off days so far has just been so brutal. Everybody's dead. I have no idea what to expect tomorrow against Freed. We can get, if we can grind out a win here, that'd be great. If not, we lose the series most likely. 
Bookie and Sale. I don't... I don't know. Do I want to take tomorrow off instead? Actually, I think I'll... Maybe I won't play tomorrow. We'll be back, um... Maybe we'll be back for Cookie and Sale. Yeah, I think maybe that'll be the plan. We won't play tomorrow. Because we got lemons we have to do and golf. And if charter's not working, it's going to be a chore just to get through both of those. It was a chore just to get through baseball. So, I don't know. We'll see how charter's doing. Seeing Chris Sale, that would at least... Cookie and Sale would be a fun matchup. Our pen is just so... Everybody is so exhausted. I need... I need a day where I could go seven, eight innings with a starter. I haven't been able to do that since here with Shane Bieber. Was this our one one earned? Or one 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 of our one hitters? Yeah. Yeah, Bieber goes. Eight full and then we here we go. Logan Allen only went six, Eli Morgan went two. Had to bring Class A on two days in a row. How about here we uh we use three cookie, Sandlin, Scott Barlow. Just a McKenzie, I think. Uh, we had one. Oh, oh, this is a two hitter. McKenzie went seven. Hunter Gaddis went two. So. Yeah, our pen, everything, everybody is just so, so exhausted right now. It's, um, can we? Lineups don't give you energy or anything. Um, anything right now that is? No. Yeah, everyone's just so, so burnt down, and I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, this team just, do we have any relief coming? Nope. Nope. Don't get a day off until the 16th. We have the 29th off. Now we don't have a day off until May 16. It'll be our JV day. We'll, uh, we'll play that game definitely for old time's sake. What we got here, Tristan McKenzie and JP. Maybe we won't play the start. Maybe what we'll do, just trying to think, we won't play this one because Lemons. And then we will play this one. We won't play Tuesday. We'll take Monday, Tuesday off baseball. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday against the Angels. Take Sunday off. We probably play Saturday too. Monday, and by here it'll be just based off of what work schedule is. I definitely gotta play Monday. Fuck, another, another month of just no, no rest. Just look at this. Go one, two, th three, six, nine, twelve. 
16 games without a day off. This team's gonna be gay. I'm actually I'm gonna have to not play Rikio one day. We're gonna have to find a way to sit him. In that stretch. And this early season schedule's just been brutal. This this stretch in June is gonna be heaven. Three, two, three with three days off in eight days. The first 17 days in the month of June, we have four days off. And then July, we have, then we end June with three, six, nine, 12, 13 games in a row. This right here is all right. That's just the stretch before the All-Star break. That's just kind of grinded out. And then same thing here. September or August is going to be, oh, post-All-Star break. Well, no, we have 31st off. This won't be bad. August won't be terrible. This stretch won't be great, but it won't be bad. In September, I mean, just find a way to get through. Hopefully by September we're far enough. We have a good lead in the division. Maybe have it clinched and we'll be able to figure out ways to get creative with lineups. To rest some guys and hopefully don't have any injuries. I mean, yeah, look at this. Like, look at this. The key is dead. Oh, that's our pitchers. One, two, three, four. We only have four position players outside of our top nine. Other than our lineup, Quan's starting to get slow. David Fry is fine. Freeman's all right. Arias. Hedges and Rikio's just dead. Like, it's gonna be. It's gonna be tough. So, we'll figure it out though.